Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Algorithm Illustrator. In this particular uh, episode, we're going to go over leak code 670, the solution for leak code uh, problem 670, which is called the maximum swap. So this is a problem description. So given a non-negative number, you could swap two digits at most once to get the max number. Um, so basically what you have to do is you have to return the max value number that you can get by swapping two digits at most two digits essentially. Okay, so um, let's see what that means. Uh, pretty, it's pretty straightforward, but we can, let's take an example. So if we have the number 2736, then essentially by swapping uh, two with seven, we get the max digit that we can possibly find, right? Um, let's take 9973, right? Um, if we take 9973, then uh, we, if we swap, you know, if you swap nine with nine, I mean, here there's no swap needed, right? Because um, nine nine seven three is the max value that we can get by um, by uh, like basically swapping uh, by basically not swapping. Um, so and then here's the last example nine nine eight four eight. So here, if we swap eight and four, we get the max uh, digit here. Okay. So this is a problem statement here. So let's think about how we can go about doing this, right? Um, so, I mean, so there's a brute force solution here. So, um, so the first brute force solution is to basically swap all the possible pairs um, with every, basically one digit with every other digit in the, in the uh, series here. So um, as an example, if you have two, three, seven, six, you would first swap two with, with seven, right? Which you would get seven, three, four, six. You would swap two with three, in which you would get three seven two six. You would swap two with six, and you would get um, you get uh something like you know uh six, seven three two right and so forth. And you would take the second one. You would swap it um with three. You'd swap it with six and so forth. So that's the general idea here, right? Um, so let's uh, think about um, how we can code this. I mean, this brute force solution is pretty straightforward, right? So we essentially, we have to have two nested loops in which we uh, basically swap the two, um, sw swap the two uh, positions here, essentially. Um, and then if we find a max, we encounter a max, then we essentially, um, essentially set it to the max integer, okay? So let's think about how we can do this, okay? So, um, so, we have, you know, let's write a pseudocode. Um, so for I from, you know, um, zero position to, um, so one other uh, nuance here is that this, this uh, the quantity that we're passed in here, the variable that we're passed in here is actually an integer, but uh, we have to convert it into a string, right? Um, so we'll assume that this is a string integer, a, str a string integer, yeah. So in this case, 2736, at index zero, there's the character two. At, at uh, index one, there's character seven and so forth. Okay, so from I from zero till the length of my given, um, you know, uh, like given numeric string, num string, right? Numeric string. Um, technically it's minus one, but I mean it's pseudo code that I'm writing. Um, and then, uh, for J from I plus one till the length of my numeric string minus one, right? Um, what you have to do is you have to essentially swap it, right? So we have to swap um, the i-th position uh, with the j-th position, okay? So swap, you know, the character at, you know, uh, num string at i with num string at j okay and once we swap so we'll just call this temp right and then if if we see that the temp is uh, you know greater than the original number right the original number then what we can do is we can set um you know the max the max to be equal to uh we can set the max to be equal to the temp here right so as an example here, when we share the number two seven three six, uh, you first swap two with the seven, and you get seven two three six, and you can set the max equal to seven two three six, 
and then then two is going to be swapped with three and then we get three seven two six and so forth but that's not greater than the original number so um so so yeah so th this uh this is algorithm um the or rough algorithm really uh for for doing that okay um and by the way sorry this should be max not the original number because uh if you encounter a once you swap it if you can encounter a uh, number with greater than the max then you do that okay okay so great so then after this goes and evaluates all possible combinations and in the end what you can do is you can return uh you know you, you can uh, uh if if the uh if there was no swaps right if the max so initially the max is set to the original number itself right so uh, equals equals number i apologize for the background noise um so max is equal to the number and in the end if um max is equal to equal to number that means that there's no swap needed so you can just return um you know the max or the original number um else you can return the uh max right or actually in the end here we can actually return the uh max here right in general because initially we set the max to equals number and then we do a computation respectively so this solution um uses a time complexity of o big of n squared where n is uh the length of my numeric string um because this loop we have nested loop that one that goes from zero to length minus one the other one from i plus one to length of string minus one and the space complexity of this would be um would be actually uh constant time right because we would probably use another string variable here just a single variable that keeps track of the maximum so it'd be constant time okay so this is a brute force solution but clearly n square is not desirable we want a better run time than that so let's think about a better approach okay um so in this better approach here let me quickly write it down here um okay so um in this approach here uh, what we're going to do is we are going to, um, let's just think about this logically, right? Um, what if we can keep a track of this indices and store it somewhere such that later we can retrieve the index uh, of, the, of those particular string, uh, digits, right? So what I mean by that is that say we start at two and if we do indeed know that there is like a greater digit like uh, that is close to nine eight or seven and so forth we can immediately swap with that so the intuition comes here from like pre-storing all the indices in hash map and once we're at a particular index if we see that uh later on later on the digit that there is indeed a greater digit like such as nine eight seven six and so forth we know that the maximum result that we can get is by swapping that that greater digit the nine eight seven six whatever with the current one okay so that is the key inside here okay so uh another way to think about this is that uh this sort of similar to uh, the greedy approach in the coins problem when you're trying to determine the changes, right? Um, you initially start with the highest denominations that you're trying to compute the change for and you sort of um, see that you if you if you can get for the um, uh, You can get the change for say, uh, you know 50 cents uh, and then you move on to 25 cents and so forth uh, So that is the general idea here, right? Uh, initially when you are at two, you see that if there's a greater number, um, such as like nine, eight, seven, right, that occurs later in in the number. If so, we can swap it with the highest, um, you know, highest number, which in this case would be nine, uh, then eight, then seven. So seven is in the digit, so we can swap with that. Okay, so that is the greedy approach here. So we're going to take a greedy, um, greedy algorithm, right? So this greedy algorithm, what it does is that we can code this up. So um, define um let's see here so max swap right and this takes in a numeric uh, number actually but this is a uh integer here and we want a essentially a string right so we can do something like numeric string equals string of num okay now after we do that we can um what we have to do is first we have to go ahead and put all the indices along with its um the numbers in the hash map so i'll say something like int map right for the integers right um so for index item 
in um, enumerate enumerate uh, you know num string right I can go ahead and put int map at item is equal to the index okay so what this does is that if we have um, an example like this 99848 uh, what it's gonna do is it's first gonna put 9 um, with index 0 then you encounter 9 again so you replace this this particular index with 1 because you want to essentially uh, record the last seen index essentially so in this case 0 1 you would pick 1 so it's okay to override it because uh, you would want to have the the latest um, occurring index for the particular number okay and then we have eight so you put eight go ahead and put eight um so you put two there then you put four three and then you see eight again so you override this and you put um four right um so this will be your hash map okay and then once you do that we can go through the original string here we start off with nine okay and do I see that there's an, there's um, something greater than nine that occurs later in the series? No, right, because nine is a max digit, okay? So we move on to the next digit, which is again nine. Again, there's no max digit that is greater than nine that occurs in, in, in the number here. So we, we move on to eight. Um, is there, you know, is there an, uh, a nine that occurs later in the series? No, is there an eight that occurs later in the series? Yes. So we swap eight, um, um, actually, um, in this case, Eight occurs in the series, but um, it's stay equal to eight, so we leave that alone, right? So we move on to the next one, right? Uh, we we are at four. Is there a number greater than four, like nine, eight, seven, six that occurs later in the series? In this case, there's eight, so we swap eight with four, okay? And uh, this is the result we get, okay? So by using hash map and check and basically checking in the hash map, we can accomplish this result. So let's take a look at how we can do this. So first, we go ahead and put all the items in the in the hash map then we can iterate through our given string, right? So for, um, let's see, for index item in enumerate string, num string, right? Um, okay, and then what we can have to do is, we since we're following greedy approach here, greedy algorithm here, um, we first st start counting down from nine uh, until zero. So we first check whether there's a nine that occurs later on in the given digit. There's there's uh, eight occurs in the given digit, seven occurs in the digit. By doing this, we can um, essentially uh, guarantee that we're computing the max. We're swapping with the max number here. So for uh, num in range um, nine, negative one, negative one. So what this does is it counts nine until zero inclusive, right? Um, so then what we can do is for num and range this, right? We have to basically go ahead and check whether that's in my, in our given string. So the, the tricky part here is another thing is that we're checking between string and integers here. So what we can do is we can convert the string into an integer, right? So we can do something like uh, string num equals, uh, the digit is equal to string dot num. And we can check if the digit, um, First of all, if the digit exists in in our given dictionary, right, uh, in our given um, int map, right. So if it does exist, right. So in this case, um, so if we take this example, right, we first start with two and we see whether there's nine occurring later on, right, and we count down essentially. So there's no nine occurring here. Then we move on to eight. Is eight occurring later in the series? No. Is seven? Yes, seven is there. So that's what we're essentially doing here. If digit is an int map, right? Uh, so in this case, nine is not an int map, so it's gonna skip over that. But if it is, so it's gonna eventually enter seven in that example. And if the digit is an int map, then what we want to do here is we wanna say something like, um, so seven is in the given um, int map, so we clearly wanna swap it, right? So how do we swap it? I mean, that's pretty straightforward, right? So the only tricky thing here is that um, this is a string, um, so we, when we swap it, we, our uh, our end result is going to be another numeric string, also, right? So we can do something like, um, you know, uh, essentially we're swapping it here. So we can do something like a numeric string at um, at uh, at like this particular index here, which is going to be uh, index is. Uh, it's going to be swapped with numeric string at um, 
you know, at the number that you're looking at right here. Um, uh, hold on, let me think about this. Hey guys, welcome back. So uh, going back to the example here, numstring at index should be swapped with numstring at um, this particular map index, right? So where if the digit is an int map, right? Uh, what we have to do is we can say something like numstring at digit, right? Um, essentially what we're doing is we're swapping, um, for, say, say in this example here, we're starting with two. And if nine is in digit, no, nine is not in digit. Is eight in the digit? Yes. Um, so, or, or eight is in the digit? No. Seven is in the digit? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So seven is in the digit and we have to extract the index where seven occurs in our given hash map. So uh, we swap numstring at index with numstring at digit. Okay. So we can do something like numstring at index equals numstring um, digit comma numstring at index like this. We can swap those two um, indices and as soon as we swap we know that that is the max we can get so we can return the num string okay there's a little bit um, technical nuance here in the sense that we're supposed to actually return the integer right so we have to convert that string into integer and return it but that's like a technical detail here um, and then if this loop runs and we see that you know we're not able to compute or get the maximum um, value we can in the very end we can uh, return the num itself saying that you know I don't I can't get anything better than what I have originally okay so that's the general idea here um, so hope that was helpful so let's take a look at my lead code submission um, and see you guys soon hey guys welcome back so here's my submission uh, on lead code for this particular max maximum swap problem so essentially what I do here is first I have a I create a hash map that basically stores the indices for a particular digit um, and I do this by using enumerate by basically iterating over my given um, string actually what I'm given is actually an, an integer but so I convert it into a string and I iterate over it and I basically put the particular digit along with this index in my given hash map so at the end of this I have initially my hash map which has the digits along with these indices then all I need to do now is iterate go ahead and iterate over my given string here which is what I do on line 10 um, so I start iterating over my given string and um, uh, basically I start with 9 right so the idea is that I want to count down from 9 and go to 8 7 6 5 4 1 and so forth um, and I want to see whether you know uh, so this is the greedy part, the greedy algorithm approach that I was talking about. So you first compare with the max digit, which is 9 in this case. Uh, so you want to see whether 9 occurs later in the series. It, and if it actually does occur later in the series, then what you want to do is you want to swap it with the highest occurring digit, in this case 9, right? Um, so that, that's what I do here. So if the digit is in digit map, so while you're counting down from 9 to 0, uh, from highest to lowest, if the digit is actually in your given string, um, and and this is important, right? So this is, this means that if the um, at a later point of time, if a max value occurs, right, um, then you need to essentially swap those two uh, two positions, and you can immediately go ahead and return the uh, given number. Okay. So this is a little bit of technical detail here because uh, um, essentially string this this is actually a list, right? A list containing the in, uh, the uh, numeric digits and since you want to convert it into an integer you need to uh, combine all of these together by using join function and you want to cast it into an integer to actually return you, the actual integer value so this is technical detail and after you do this if none of these you know satisfy with the um, if if no digits are swapped uh, then you can just return the num meaning that there's no swap needed uh, for this particular instance, okay? So pretty straightforward, let's go ahead and submit the solution. And first, let's run the code just to make sure everything is, is cool. So if the input is 2736, then my answer that I'm getting is 7236 and the expected answer is 7236. So let's go ahead and submit it. Okay, okay, great, it's accepted. Um, and this is this code is in Python, so obviously just uh, implement in your favorite language and tell me um, how it goes. Have fun, guys. Okay, bye.